Yeah, baby, fresh out of the mailbox, I got a couple of joints that were sent to me by Argos. Shout out to the fam over at Argos for blessing me with these packages, and they're so pretty presented that I have no idea what's in them. So let's roll my motherfucking music so we can pick one, open it up, and see if it's any good. Good morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, c 3 u 3 3 a So they sent me a couple of fragrances because they're just sweet people. And they're for nicely presented as such. Little stamps here. I love details. I do love details. I mean, they're, it's not the easiest thing to do details. They told me they're going to send some for me to check out. So here we are. I just don't know or remember what it was. But the only way to figure it out is by opening the shit. Love the little presentation. I love these little wax stamp things. They're super nice. So let's open this joint up. I'm sorry, I gotta ruin your whole presentation, but that's what it is. Okay, so this one is Danae or Danae Eau de Parfum by Argos. Wow, this presentation is crazy. The design on the box is elaborate. Argos is known for doing some wild packaging and presentation, pretty boxes, so I gotta give them that. Ooh, hello, miss. There's a lady in front of it. Oh, it's got some sticky shit here. Danae. Dene, Daniai. Here's what the presentation looks like. Beautiful artwork. Argos really goes in on this art and presentation, which again, I'm now dealing with like manufacturing and shit like that. Some of my merch. And manufacturing's a pain in the ball, so I respect it even more now. Let's open this joint up. I haven't looked up any notes. I haven't done anything. You know my usual spiel. I don't gotta repeat it every time. I just like to smell it, get my nose into it, see what I feel from it, see if I get some sort of reaction, see if my body feels it, if the energy is there. That's what I look for in a fragrance, right? The notes are just fucking notes. It's words on a piece of paper. I need scent. I need energy. I need vibe. I need to see if my nose is agreeing with this and if this is a vibe for me. So here is the Argos box. And again, it's Dana A or Dana E, thing along those lines. But it's all about the scent, right? So I got the test strip on decky. Let's open this joint up. Wow, that bottle's gorgeous. Wow. I mean, it, I'm not surprised. Super beautiful. Love the art. Love the plaque on it. Sorry, I'm admiring it for a second. Just talk amongst yourselves. Beautiful bottle. Look at that. Gorgeous. Look at the little stones there. Then he put a little stone on top. Love, love, love. Heavy duty bottle just like the other ones, but they went in on the art here. The older I get, the more artsy I get as far as visuals. Ah, the cap fell off. All right. So let's smell this fragrance and then we'll look up notes after. I think some of these joints have notes inside of it, actually. It does, but let's just ignore that for a second. Oh my God. Ooh, this reminds me of something. Hold on. This reminds me of something old school. Wow, this is so fucking pretty. But it, it's more nostalgic too. Oh my God, what is that fragrance? It has a little bit of this fragrance that I had as a teenager that I fucking loved and I can't remember what it was. Oh, it's so pretty. But I gotta admit, and I'm gonna admit it right now, there's more, I, I'm getting more of this not just because I really like the scent, I really like the scent, but there's a nostalgia and like this fucking muscle memory just... This is the shit about fragrance, man, that I fucking tell people all the time. Half the time I just don't give a fuck about who made what, the price, I don't care. I just don't care. I want to see what the scent does for me. That's what you should care about. What is it gonna do for you? What is it gonna remind you of? What kind of visceral reaction you're getting it? That's why this shit keeps pulling me back in. Whenever I think I got one fucking foot out the door, shit reels me back in with stuff like this. I just can't put the name of the fragrance that has this similar DNA that this is like early 16, 17, 18, 19 year old Cuba type shit. Oh my God. So fucking nice. Oh, sweet, mass appeal, citric. It feels kind of boozy. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Yes, this is, it's drying down to a little bit something different. So the opening and mid is definitely completely opposite against each other to my nose. 
That opening, man, feels like I just chewed on a shroom. I, I've never done any drugs. And just fucking catapulted me back. I'm gonna have to do this on skin, but let me look at the notes inside of the box because I know they're here. So the top notes is bergamot and Sicilian lemon, followed by pink peppercorn, guyac wood, cedar wood, cashmere wood. Base notes is cystus, patchouli, sandalwood, and musk. Very fucking nice. Man, this is fucking lit. Right, I'm gonna try this on skin real quick. Yum. I was not expecting that. I just fucking sprayed my whole watch. Man, this is fucking nice. What does it remind me of? I'm, I'm, I'm struggling, man. Young Teen Cuba had like, I wanna say 20 fragrances in my weird Ikea closet. I had the biggest wall unit closet that you can ever think of in a one bet. It just, it didn't make any sense. I wish I still had pictures. Cashmere wood and oud wood has this creamy seductiveness about it. And the citrus is so properly blended that it's not sharp or sour in any way, but just adds a level of brightness to it. It feels like a plushy ass, well-created sweater with comfort and sexiness. Very good fragrance. I don't even know how, how much is this shit. Hi, right, so the fragrance is $275. Honestly though, this shit smells fucking fire. Wow, wow. Wow. My enthusiasm and that visceral reaction that I'm giving from this fragrance is maybe 40% memory jogging, like, oh shit, and, and a scent profile that just brings me back to a beautiful time that I absolutely enjoyed. And then the remaining is, the shit is really nice. It's absolutely a ball sprayer. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but there's you getting a full blown presentation with definite details put into it and a beautiful quality fragrance that at very least sample. Shout out to Argos for sending me this shit. You set the bar a little bit high though, so I don't know what's in that other shit, but I'm gonna find it difficult for it to match with that. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description where you could cop this joint. Christ's sake, I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Fuck. Really nice. Smooches. Cubano, Cubano, Cubano. What's fresh? Who is best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Cubano. For the fly gun, hold up, money folder, roller, star tag. When it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way. This nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you